Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hoi 4. It has been quite a while since the last episode, but I won't let that stop me. And today we're going to be doing something that is a first for this channel, namely playing a different mod. This time it is the New Ways mod. I've been looking at this mod for a while and originally I thought it was very intimidating, but after playing it for a while it's actually not intimidating at all. And quite simple to understand for the most part, because I thought, you know what, let's do some chaos. This time around we're going to do one of the most generic places ever, namely Austro-Hungary, for the fifth billionth time. We're going to bring the failed state back again. Woohoo! Let's go. And we're back. 1936. It is Austria with our boy Kurt and authoritarian. We got the Vaterländische Front. We got the Austro-Fascism in place where people are still debating if it's true fascism or not. It is a debate that will never end but that's not what we are going to be concerning ourselves today because there's a cool focus which is called Establish the Monarchy. Yay! Nobody has ever done that before, right? And immediately after selecting the focus, the nobles are dissatisfied with our ideas and they want to say no, you cannot from Austria-Hungary or pursue the democratic path and I'm like you know what this sounds very interesting so if you can't go democratic and can't go Austro-Hungarian what can you do then Ooh. and well looking at the map looking at the flag and looking at the guy well look who's back the Habsburgs are back again and now we're gonna do the most generic paths that you've ever seen before but first we're actually gonna claim a few countries because it's not Austria-Hungary without Hungary right so step number one of Austria-Hungary well, obviously, Hungary. And if you just get it with a random, then bada bim, bada boom. Look, Hungary is gone. It's as if they never existed. In order to get Czechoslovakia to join the empire again, they need to have more than 50% monarchist support. And with the focus, they get 20%. That means that once they have 30%, we can just annex them. But currently, they're only at 13%, which is the reason why I have a spy network active here where we're boosting po party popularity in hopes that we can get them up as fast as possible because otherwise this would either take way too long or wouldn't even be possible at all or we would only get them as a puppet but we don't like puppets we like direct control and now in the news Lithuania is gone replaced by the Soviet Union and Estonia is having yet another civil war but looks like the fascists are losing you better watch out because if you blink you might miss it Czechoslovakia is also gone. Yay! So now that we got the core territory of the empire back, I'm looking towards the east and then I see this word. It's Transylvania. And when I hear this, for some reason, I don't know, I feel like I just want to suck blood out of somebody. I don't know why. But anyway, Transylvania time now. So and we have the option here to like do this diplomatically or not. Today I feel like no diplomacy. You know what's really funny? Two days after I declared one Romania, they did the Polish-Romanian alliance. And now Poland is guaranteeing Romania's independence. Too bad that this has no effect on the war that has already happened. So just now, both France and the UK declared one Italy because they attacked Albania. So World War II started because of Albania, after which Italy joined the Axis. What the actual fuck? I mean, I've played this mod like four times before and this never happened this early because usually Italy doesn't beat Ethiopia until 1938. I don't know what happened different in this game, but um, my plans definitely have changed now. And only after a short little while, um, the Allies brought Ethiopia back. So that's very interesting. And Romania, uh, it's still gonna take a little bit. Just give me a moment. So France just fell. Um, the Soviets have a civil war again, and I'm still stuck in Romania. So we just made a deal with Yugoslavia so that we get Vojvodina back and Slovenia back, but we have to guarantee them. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good deal to me. A very good deal. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but this looks like a pretty good encirclement to me, huh? And now we just did a big rebranding movement. We're not the ha Habsburg Empire anymore, we're the Christian Empire. And this gives us a lot of options to do here, like supporting the church. Oh my god, how controversial. The war of Romania is gone. Transylvania is back and I just have a nice little puppet here. But we have a special decision that will help us later. So we gotta watch out, because that's gonna be very useful. So now the special tool that I mentioned previously is a combination of a few decisions. So first, we temporarily give Romania Transylvania back. Then we hit this button, we return to the throne to the Habsburgs. Then the final step is we press this button and boom, we just got all of Romania cored and all we did was pay 200 political power. Just like that, that's pretty cool, huh? So we just formed a faction, the Catholic League. It's between us and ba -ba -ba -ba, the Pope. <laughs> there was two divisions and who is surrounded by Italy so we can't even get to them woohoo but we can do a few funny moves with this so somehow I don't know how but there was another fall of Paris event which happened after I think the UK retook Paris and then they lost it again so they are having some coastal warfare right here then Albania somehow peaced out of Italy and then they got back to war and Greece is in the axis so that happened here too and Turkey just completely blew up again well shit so we expanded the Catholic realm to other Catholic nations like Portugal and Spain because Central Europe and Western Europe, um, yeah, 
Coastal Warfare continues. And down here, they also joined already, so we're basically surrounded. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. So we asked the Pope, and he was like, yeah, sure, dude. You can get a blessing for our upcoming conquest where we take down Germany. And we got the Pope's blessing. And at the same time, we also get a war goal against Germany. So while they have barely any divisions, like 50, and Italy also has about like 35. And they're struggling on the Western French coast because they've been fighting the British for a couple of years. Now, this is the moment where, where the Christian Empire goes in with the Pope's power and blessing and we take down freaking everybody. And it looks like the Germans were not expecting this at all. They don't even have enough divisions to hold their front in Germany and in France. Neither do the Italians. The Italians, they only have two divisions here and we already took Venice. I think it's gonna be a piece of piss, right? And our allies, Spain, also encircling the Italians down here too in southern France. I think we I think we got this one in the bag. Italy already capitulated and Germany is about to capitulate. I'm just waiting to get this one focus where the Vatican gets cross on all of Italy because that's gonna be fun. The Pope actually joined the war on accident and then he died but now the Pope is back. We beat the Axis and the Vatican controls all of Italy and now we actually got the event. Arm the Pope? Yeah dude, we're gonna arm him full, 100%. We are still at war with Japan's faction though because of the tripartite pact that actually happened for once. So now we're gonna pull a complete double whammy because first we're gonna get this focus complete which gives us course on all of Germany and we can select a new capital and Berlin, oh no, and Prague and Budapest? Oh that's even worse, no we stay in Vienna. And now we are the great German Empire and when you look at the core map you're gonna be amazed because it's all this from fucking Hamburg all the way down to Romania is caught but we can get more because when we do the same thing that we did with Romania with Bulgaria again kaboom bang all of Bulgaria is caught now too so from North Germany all till all the way till Bulgaria we have pure cores and yeah the manpower we have 133 core and 8 8 million not 8 8 guys in the entire continent oh that would be bad no 8 million Ooh, now we can do whatever the fuck we want really nothing can stop us now and now we can finally answer Stalin's question. The Pope, how many divisions has he got? Well, according to this, he's got 38. Eat that. So there's also this option we have to create a Latin Empire, and for that we need to give our Greek puppet a few coastal Turkish states. Hmm. That sounds like fun. The mission is done, Latin Empire, kaboom. We got some bootlegged Megali idea right here, but works out just fine. Alright, we've reached the final part of our mission. We already expanded pretty far, and we just want to take out Yugoslavia. They're guaranteed by the Allies, but I'm just gonna start a war with the Allies, and I'm probably not gonna win. We're just gonna, like, have a stalemate between us and America, and probably Britain too. And that's probably gonna be the end for today. So for some reason, Yugoslavia didn't join the Allies, even though they were both democratic. But that really doesn't matter right now, because we can do the classic move. We can press this button, and... Boom, all of Yugoslavia is caught and we did it. So now we have this entire area here caught and even more population, 146 million. The fact that you can just core all of these nations here, that is so broken. I mean, it's not like coring all of Germany in its own isn't already broken, but this is just like absurd. How, why, why are you able to do this? But I mean, I'm not complaining. I got 8 million soldiers now and like hundreds of factories. So I really am not complaining. And with the help of the Pope, we are pushing into France because they, they had no units down here. They didn't expect the Pope to turn on them. So France down, the Vatican is getting larger than ever. Just landed in Britain and we're gonna take some Swiss call states too. So when Britain is gone in this mod you gotta watch out because there's a land bridge to Ireland. So I'll be right back. So the deed has been done, the Great German Empire took over the continent and double teamed with the Vatican and also Spain and Portugal to take over Europe, we even took over the Isles, some of Scandinavian nations with us too like Norway and Sweden but we are at war with America and we can't really get to them so this is about as far as I can go. And oh yeah Japan is also there, they are at war with us so it's like a three way war. It is us versus the allies versus Japan and all three of us are at war with all of each other. That's the situation right now. But thank you very much for watching and Dr. Wimke will return.